Hi, I'm Sally and this is the tutorial for my piglet design from Winnie the Pooh. You will need three different shades of pink band, so I've used a hot pink, sort of mid pink, and sort of a more of a raspberry pink on the body, and two black bands for his eyes. His eyes or her eyes? I'm not sure actually, I think it's him. So, let's make a start. So taking your loom, the staggered configuration with the arrows pointing towards you, we're going to take two bands of, um, well, I'm using like a hot pink colour, whatever colour you want to use for the ears. Sorry, we're going to take one band of whatever colour you want to use for the ears, I'm getting ahead of myself, and you're going to make a figure of eight between these two pins, like so. And now we're going to take two bands, like so. And we're going to go down each row here uh, three times. you've done this, place a cap band on each of the end pins, so a single band, just wrapped around three times, three, push the cap bands down, and take another single of the pink, this hot pink, whatever colour you're using, we're going to stretch it out, double it back round onto itself and we're going to place it across the two pins where we've just placed the cap bands we're going to do the same nearly take another band double it round onto itself placing it in a triangle there so there and pointing forwards and then we're going to place another doubled band onto these two pins here so you're going diagonally and once it looks like this, so you should have three, so you should have a band going diagonally here, triangle in the middle and then a diagonal band there and they're all doubled. We're going to take our hook, we're going to go inside the cap band, inside the holding band, inside the cap band, find the bottom two bands and loop them forwards. Same again, inside the cap band, loop forwards pushing back the holding band and looping all the way up to the top. Okay. And then the top two pins here, we're going to go inside, find that single band of the figure of eight, bring it round, hold it on your hook or place it on your finger if you find that too difficult. Go inside the other pin, find the other part of the eight, like so. You don't want it to go in an eight and that's just slipped. Leave your hook on it, just to hold it, or your finger. I'm just going to remove this now from the loom. You get a better point if you tie it once it's off of the loom, i found. Otherwise it goes a little bit rounded. Pull your ear out and you want to tie it off. So take the first band over the end of the hook, pull it tight, like so, and then taking your hook along the back, and not getting any bounds at all, there we go, just going to tuck that band through, so you're just pulling it through with your hook so it's out of the way. This bottom band here that goes across will be the band that we use to attach it, so don't tuck under that band because you'll come untucked again. Place it to one side, we're going to make another ear now. So, let's grab a little pile of bands. So, figure of eight, going down three times on each side. Put 
placing a cap band on the end pins. Single band, wrap three times. Same on the other. Oops. Pushing those down. Doubled band, across the cap bands. Doubled band in a triangle and then the last doubled band going diagonally so like this again so it's exactly the same as the one we've just made and then we're looping it up so inside the cat band pushing that back cool band's got cool and looping forwards same the other side, inside the cap band. My band just broke. Fiddle sticks. Looping forwards. Should be okay. And I was just thinking, how I haven't worked with these bands much that I'm using. They're sort of jelly bands and I haven't used them much. I was thinking they're doing really well for jelly bands. Just removing it from the loom and then it goes and snaps. It's always the way. Thinking too soon. I'm going to remove it from the loom and just going to try and pull through if I can that broken band. Get it out of the way. It is coming. It's really going to ping my fingers in a minute. It's really going to hurt. There we go. That's not too bad. I don't think Piggly will mind just having one band there. And then Again, we're just going to tie this off, pull it tight, and hide the band. So, finding two bands on the back, whichever side you want the back to be. It's sort of pretty much reversible, so it doesn't matter too much. Taking the band through the back. Oh dear, missed. Through the back. Of the ear, like so, and there we have the second ear. It doesn't matter how many times I make these; they never, I never get two the same. They always come out one slightly bent, or one looks wider, or one's more pointy than the other. It's even though you make them in exactly the same way with the exact same bands, they always come out differently. So don't worry too much. We're now going to start on. Piglet's body. So using the light pink bands or whatever colour bands you want to use for his face and for his arms and his legs, we're going to place these two bands just loosely over this top pin like so. Taking two of the pink, going diagonally from the centre first to the side first on both sides like so. And then we're going to go down each side with the same colour pink three times. So one, two, three. Same down the other side. One, two. Three, and then down the centre, we're going to go down four times. So still using two bands. Like so. And then we're going to place bands diagonally from this pin to the centre pin. Same the other side. So two bands again. Like so. Now we're going to start on his body. So I'm using a more of a sort of raspberry pink colour for his body. So taking two bands of this colour and we're going down. And you want to do it 
so you join it on to sort of his jaw here so you're overlapping on top of the other pink colour and we're going down four times along this side Same along the other side, going down four times, making sure that you overlap at the top. Like this. Like that. And then we're going down the centre. One, two, three, four times again. So straight down the centre. And again, so it overlaps onto this pink bit here. And I do have a tutorial on my channel for Winnie the Pooh. And I will also be having one very soon for Winnie the Pooh's pot of honey, his little honey pot, which is quite sweet. So that's that. I'm going to close it off with the diagonal bands here. So I'm slowly getting through the Winnie the Pooh characters. Oops. Like so. Placing a cat band on this centre pin here. So wrapping it around three times with a single band. Three. We're going to make his arms. So again, taking the colour that you've used for his face, two bands, and we're going down three times. So just leave a little bit of a gap, and you're going down three times. Two bands. Like so. Placing a cat band on this end pin here. So, single three times. Doing the same down this side, so down three times and capping it at the end. Inside the cat band, getting the bottom two bands and looping forwards. You're doing the same on both of the arms. And then we're going to remove them. Placing them on the fifth pin down here. So count down at the side, down to five, place it around that pin, so just stretch it out and place it on top. Same with this one. So you're just stretching it out and placing it over. So it looks like this. Gonna make the legs. So same colour pink that you just used for the arms and the face. We're going down three times again. And you want to do it so you overlap onto the other shade of pink that you're using. Going down three. Capping it at the end. So, same as we've done with the arms. And same down the other side. So here's Piglet's body, we just need to add on his ears and his eyes and his nose. So we can attach his ears now. So finding that band that we doubled to go across the cat bands, 
which is like a loop at the bottom here, we're going to double this around the very top pin on each side. So you just want to pull out that band and double it back on itself, otherwise you'll find that the ear will be quite loose when it's removed from the loop. Doing the same with the other, so finding that band that went across the cap band and we're just going to double it. And my tying off band has just worked its way loose as well, so I'm going to hide that once it's taken off, so don't worry about this. Hopefully yours hasn't done that. I'm going to make the eyes, so you want to take two single back bands, one single pink, taking your hook, I'm going to wrap one of the single black around your hook three times, same with the other one. like so, taking the pink over the end of your hook, hold it with your finger and just pull those bands down, and my guinea pig's having a drink. So it's like this, and we're going to place this across our loom on the second pin down on each side. separate the eyes so it's like this taking your hook inside these two bands here in the middle lifting the top one over the pin above next we're going to make the nose so taking a single band to match the color of your ears we're going to wrap this same as we just done with the eyes around our hook three times like so Taking two bands of your face colour, place this on the end of the hook, sliding these wrap bands onto the two bands, and then if you hold the wrapped band so it doesn't come off, and you'll see you have two bands on each side, and you want to turn it sideways and then take the loops so that you're pulling them so you're holding each end of the same band like this and this isn't my idea for a pig snout I know that Tutorials by A has done it on her uh, pig design so I'm not sure whether she came up with it or whether she found it somewhere else as well but whoever came up with it it's awesome and it's a really good way of doing a pig's nose so we're placing this across the third pin down on each side and it just holds like this. And now we can place on our holding bands. So starting with the darker pink of the body colour, we're making a triangle just above where we've placed the cat band. And we're going to do another one above that, another one above that. And then once more above that, swapping and using the colour of the face, you're going across here on the lower part of his face and across where you've just placed his nose, but not where you've done his eyes because that's already on a triangle band. And this is what you should have, like so. And now we're going to begin to loop. So taking your hook, going inside the bottom of his foot and taking those two bottom bands and looping up and we're looping all the way up his leg. Yeah. Doing the same on the other side, looping up on his leg. I know you slipped off my hip so I'm just going to use my fingers and pop them up. Going inside this cat band here. You want to take the top two bands after the cat band and loop them back onto whichever pin they need to go onto, doing the same around here and then the same and looping forwards and I'm going to loop all the way up until the colour pink changes into his face colour. And there's three bands on there. 
So I'm just going to place them back around the hook and do that bit again. Inside the arm, just push that out of the way. All the triangle bands get pushed out of the way. I've only taken one band there, so I'm just going to go back and find the second band. So all the way through, you're only looping up the bottom two bands. Everything else stays where it is. Always starting from the end where the feet are. Again, it's only taken one band, so I'm going to get the second band there. And once you've done his body, we're going to go in through this centre pin here where you've got the two bands going diagonally. Take the top two and bring them round onto whichever pin they need to go onto. Same with the next top two. There's one there. Find the other one and looping it sideways, and then the last two will go forwards like this. And you can loop all the way up to the top of his head. Just push all the other bands right out of the way with the back of your hook in through the bands on his snout, pushing forwards, eye band. Pushing forwards through the ear, which is tight, and pinning up to the centre of his top of his head, looping forwards. You're just going straight over his nose, but don't worry, you will be able to see it in the finished design. It just means it's pushing through to the far side, that's all. Okay, back down to his jaw and looping forwards inside all other bands. All the way up to the top, like that. So once he's all looped up, he should look like this. And we're going to take these two bands here, take our hook in through the top pin and find those two bands bring them around the pin as if you were looping forwards and then place the other two bands on your hook. Take the top pair over the end of your hook pole to make a slip knot and once you've done that you can remove this from your loop. I do apologise for the noisy guinea pig. He has his moments, if, if you've watched many of my tutorials you will see he does crop up a fair bit. I think he just wants to join in somehow so he decides that eating on his water, chewing on his water bottle is the best way. There's guinea pig logic for you. So, once you've taken him off your loom, I'm just going to tuck this band that came free away again. Just quickly and do it properly later. Just so we get out of the way. Right, make sure that these two bands at the top that you've used to tie off are secure. Push his eyes through. Push his snout through. You may have to sort of manoeuvre the bands and pull it through, but it does come through. Straighten out his arms and legs, make sure they're not curved. Straighten out his face. Find his nose. Wherever it's gone, it's hiding. There it is. And there we have our piglet. Like so. So I hope you've enjoyed making this. Please hit like and comment. Let me know what you think of this use the depth and I'll try and get my words out properly. Of this design and of the tutorial. And please hit subscribe to be notified when I bring out new tutorials, which at the moment is quite often, it's every couple of days or so at the moment. 
working quite hard at it to get all my ideas ready for you to be able to try. I am on Instagram and Twitter at Sally's Looming. If you'd like to find me on there, follow me. I do follow back. And you can share pictures of your finished designs, make any comments you want to make on there, or make any requests. I'm also on Facebook. So if you search Sally's Looming, or one word, you'll be able to find me on there and find my group. And again, you can send pictures, make requests, uh, make comments. Alternatively, you can just comment under this video with whatever you want to say or anything you want me to make for you, if I can. Um, anyway, is good. They will all get to me. So that's that. So I hope you've enjoyed making Piglet. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.